Prairies and oak woodlands in the Pacific Northwest are so special because they're one of the most endangered ecosystems in the United States. The Washington Department of Natural Resources has classified this ecosystem as the most endangered ecosystem in the state of Washington. We have lost over 90% of this great ecosystem and of the less than 10% that is left, only 3% of that ecosystem is dominated by native species. Now with development, prairies are pretty rare and most of them have been developed because obviously it would be easier to put concrete over a prairie than it would over a coniferous forest. Here at Cavnis Ranch, we are restoring retired agricultural land back into what we would consider high quality prairie. And this is for the benefit for the rare species that rely on these types of ecosystems. Um, some of them are actually federally and state listed, like golden paintbrush, Mazama pocket gopher, as well as pollinators like Taylor's checker spot butterfly. And so we're working with Center for Natural Lands Management to basically go through this multi-stage ongoing project um, to restore these sections of the property. As a section of Christmas trees is retired, that is when we begin the restoration process. And historically, when we have completed that process to a manageable level, it's time to start the process again and a new parcel. Here today, we're using this mini excavator to help us remove the stumps that are left over from last year's Christmas tree harvest. So these stumps need to be removed to allow us to prep the seed bed for our native mix of forbs and grasses. Once we remove the stumps, we pile them up and we burn them to remove them from the landscape. Once we have removed our stumps, we're going to go in and we are going to drop seed a very diverse mix of native forbs and grasses. So we're actually starting to put seeds in the ground. Today we have a UTV hauling a drop seeder, which has over 30 species of forbs and native grasses. And behind the drop seeder, we have a haro and that is providing seed to ground contact, which helps the seeds get covered up in the soil and eventually start to propagate on their own. So the species that have been included in the seed mix that we have planted so far out here at Cavnis Ranch include a native prairie staple such as Romer's fescue and also the state and federally listed golden paintbrush. The golden paintbrush is actually thriving out here, and in 2020, it had the largest population in the South Puget Sound at over 78,000 flowering plants. So the trees that can't be sold at market, we are going to cut them and pile them either for wildlife habitat or we're gonna pile them and burn them to remove them from the landscape. So today here at Cavanis Ranch, we are finishing up the process of removing some Christmas trees. A few days ago, they were cut down and portioned into sections. Today, we have volunteers and other partners out helping with um, collecting them, putting them together into piles and lighting them on fire. So this basically will get rid of them and it'll help us have a clean landscape so that we could maintain it, so we could remove the stumps, and then eventually put native seed in the ground.
the area that we were working on last fall, pulling out the stumps and putting on the seed, we are now out here in the spring and it's really exciting. We're seeing the little baby plants popping their heads up. The diversity is exactly what we were expecting and it's just going to get better. And the thing, the thing I like about it is it's you know an early successional um, ecosystem. So you can see it evolve um, and change in, in a lifetime. The Cabinets Ranch is one of the good examples of a successful restoration in my opinion. Uh, this has the largest population of golden paintbrush in the world now. And that's directly because of uh, you know our work here. I love Pacific Northwest prairies because we live in this place that's so green and full of conifers and prairies are a place that you can come where it's open and you have expansive sky and beautiful forbs and grasses, wildflowers. It's really important that these prairies are managed. Because they're early successional, you can't protect them and walk away. Without intervention management, they would disappear. It's a snapshot, it's a look back in time to what our natural history used to look like and what these prairies and this landscape used to be. So for me, coming out here and seeing this property transform into more of a natural state is really exciting.